Now, WGEM Sports with Garrett Tiaz. We've seen a lot of records broke this year, a lot of tough competitive matches, and reasons to believe we will have quite the dramatic postseason. And one of the teams who have made us believe in that possibility is the Fort Madison girls basketball team, who are having their best start to a season in over a decade. We take a look at what's going on up in the fort. The Fort Madison girls are off to an 11 and one start this season. And that one loss was by just one point in overtime. Um, it's exciting. I'm really excited to see where this team goes and I hope that we do good further on. Not only is this the best start for the Lady Bloodhounds in over a decade, it's the first time since the 2014-2015 season that they have double digit wins. And Fort Madison accomplished that feat in just 11 games. Well, I, there's really not, I don't know how to explain that. I think the girls got a lot more confidence in themselves. Uh, I think they're, they're playing a little bit. We played good at times, not good at others. But we, we're just, we've got a pretty decent team. We've got a couple good guards. We've got an inside game. We've got some good bench play. Uh, I think it just all is coming together a little bit. The Lady Bloodhounds are led in scoring by junior Mallory Ross, who has 270 points on the year. That's good for an average of just over 22 points a game. But the Bloodhounds know it's more than just one person or pure talent that's behind this start. We gel well. We're, we're not jealous of one another. We play more as a team a lot. Uh, they, the kids don't care. They just want to win. That's just, they just want to win. Like Our team has a lot of chemistry, so that's what's really gotten us to where we are. I feel like we all get along very well, so we all know where to where our roles are on the team, so we all know what we're supposed to do. We get along like great, you know, we do have a lot of people on the team that are great, but the bond that we have off the court is just amazing too, so I feel like that helps out a lot. And the Lady Bloodhounds have already put the past 12 games behind them. There's only one thing on their mind. Just focus on every game. The, the next game, we just gotta focus on we're gonna win. Those Lady Bloodhounds have a tough week coming up when they take on Fairfield Monday and Keokuk on Friday.